you're looking at three pounds of ribeye steak sandwich meat. We got the butcher to slice up an eighth of an inch. Ribeye. This is a ribeye. Gary has. Gary is my chef today yeah. for this anyway. My one-armed bandit chef. <laughs> He's going to prepare this for the meal, the tailgate meal. So let's let him get started doing his thing. He's going to cut them in half. Sharp, ready to go. Again, that's what he's putting on is Charlie's. Charlie's choice. It's a local seasoning. This is a new one I'm trying. Never tried it. So. I just do one side. Charlie's choice. And I'm going to cut them in half. Camp House Blend, Steak King. I cut them in half because these things are so high right now. I don't want nobody to waste none of this. <laughs> and then we take a bag. And this is Dale's. I think everybody knows Dale's. Pour some in the bag. About that much. And then we drop these pieces in there. Didn't quite cut it in half. Is that going to matter? No. Then you do the next two. All right, I'm gonna cut away while um, we do the rest of these. They're gonna marinate, like you said, in... A couple of hours. How long? A couple of hours. Some folks do them all night. I don't like to do that, because that day or will ruin a piece of good meat if you let it marinate too long. So I just do mine a couple of hours. All right, I'll bring you back in just a little bit. All right, after you get everything seasoned and uh, cut in half, and you don't have to cut them in half, but I do. Zip your bag up. Need some help. Hard to do stuff one hand. And then you wanna let that deal get on every piece. Just move it around. It to answer the question of how much Dale, this is a 16 ounce bottle and he's used almost half of it between these two bags. And again, remember this is three pounds worth of meat. about it then we put them back in the refrigerator for time to put them on the grill which is about two hours and then we'll start putting them on the grill and these steak sandwiches like this it don't take long to cook and don't overcook them all right let's get them in the fridge all right there they are on the grill that's just one bag that was 
the amount of marinade that was left. That's after two hours of marinade. That's why I don't do it overnight. Why it would soak it all up be too much? Well, if you put too much in there, it'll soak it all up, yeah. All right, ready to cut the grill on? Yep, pellet grill, by the way. Pellet grill, what kind of pellets you got in it? You got apple. What are you setting I it on? I put it on smoke for about 10 minutes and then I cut it to 325. And that's all you do, right? That's my recipe. <laughs> oh, did he fall? <laughs> <laughs> or jump or what? <laughs> Which one was it, Ollie or Otto? <laughs> it was Ollie. All right, Ollie, you better stay out of those trees. <laughs> And blowing the smoke away. mustard and the mayonnaise in there if you want it plain there's some a1 y'all help yourselves buffalo what do you call this buffalo chicken buffalo chicken dip it is delicious you agree ella good old brownies thanks to granddaughter ella anybody want a brownie You want a brownie? Oh, you got one? I ate, I ate two. They're delicious. Well, I'm fixing to chow down on one. Okay, Daddy. Explain the um, steak meat. The steak sandwich is way too salty. So, what do we need to do? So the second bag, I'm on soak in water, let it soak a couple hours and dump it out, and put some new water on it, let it soak a couple hours and dump it out. And then what was it, the combination of the... The Dale, the Dale is about 80% salt, so I, I don't know. I don't know. So maybe leave off the um, Charlie's Choice and the... I reckon. They were salty. Yeah. They'd been, I mean, I, it, we've had it many, many, many times. And Done it the same way. What are you saying? Are you tangled? <laughs> Hold on, I'll get you. I'm going to get me another brownie. Anybody else want another brownie? <laughs> Maddie, you can't have a brownie. Well, the TV wouldn't work out there in the dining room, so we've moved in here. We're stretched out in the comfort. 
of our recliner and they played terrible their first down later. Interception, interception. Oh, it's halftime, so we're rinsing some of the marinade off of the meat. It was just really salty. I don't know. Is this, the way, is this the way we've done it for many, many, many years? Not just in tailgating, just in cooking steak sandwiches. The only thing is, I think the... Um, Steaks uh, that one of the, not the Charlie's Choice, but that other one, I think that was new, wasn't it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So, we'll know next time to just do the Dales and the Charlie's Choice, or maybe even just the Dales. Folks, it was salty. <laughs> it was salty. Maybe this will fix it though for the next meal. I'll let y'all know. Gary, who's winning? We are 24 to 10, four minutes to go. All right. I'd love to show some of the clips, but I can't. Copyright infringement. Rise up, Atlanta. Are you relaxed, Otto? Defense played great. Look at how the offense and defense played great. I didn't like Ritter not having time to throw it, but I think that came. Why is Matt and Avery hating so much? I don't know. Both hate. I'm glad we, I mean, we won. <laughs> I don't care. I'm still hating. We were up by touchdown. How's Otto and Ollie? Hmm? Ollie, how are you, baby? You fell out of the tree. You're all right, though, aren't you? You landed on both feet. Yep, guess what? Falcons won. Okay, don't get too excited. <sighs> Yay, game one is a win. Go Falcons. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of our little tailgating um we have fun doing it. it i didn't record all of it not everyone is on board for being a part of the video so <laughs> maybe later um if you haven't subscribed to the channel i'm an rv wife Please do so. Tell your friends about it. Um, I've still got a lot of ideas of things I'd love to share with you. I hope next week to um, get a um, video out on doing some fall decorating. Um, you know, it, we'll have to see. We've got a kind of a busy week with some appointments here and there, so we'll we'll see how that works out. But. Um, Give us a like, notifications bell, don't forget it. Generally, I submit a video on um, Saturdays and Wednesdays. I'm doing this one today. Just It's just a real short one, um, you know, to uh, show you a little bit of what I prepared for in the last episode. So, um, again, a good win for the Falcons. And maybe we can have a repeat next week. This is Elaine, and I'm an RV wife. Thank you for watching, and once again, subscribe, give us a like, notifications bell, and we will see you later. Bye.